What's good, peeps? I am Alexios Cesaru, an aspiring entertainer and music artist. And welcome to another episode of Feedback. That's a video series I created where I show you things I do, and you tell me if I can do them better. That's essentially what it is. And yeah. And so, um, in this episode, I want to show you um, a little verse I wrote that, I don't, I don't know, I'm thinking... Like, it'd be cool if I could make a song out of this, but we'll see. It basically, it wasn't, it's called the, I've called the verse Crime and Punishment. Because I recently read that book by Dostoevsky, which was written like 100 years ago. And I really liked, I don't know, the, the energy in it. It was, it's a book that poses the philosophical question, what happens if you totally accept an atheistic viewpoint, um... So that, like, what would you what would you end up doing? What could you be driven to do? And so in the book, Raskolnikov, the main character, he murders someone and um, convinces himself that it's good because, like, the, the moral idea, his his moral reasoning is that, you know, the death of one person for the betterment of a thousand lives, essentially. And so, and I read that book and it really affected me. Like, the way it was described, I, I felt all the characters' emotions really deeply. Um, it's crazy. Uh, except for the, all the hate, like I, that's the only thing I I haven't felt like that extreme hate. But anyway, I was I was inspired by that, and I'm trying to put put that idea, that philosophical idea, into verse, I guess. Um, so he kills a woman in this book, um, and you know, for as far as he's concerned, justifi justifiable reasons, as far as he's concerned, because uh, she's a pretty nasty person. But anyway, I'm, anyway, so I'll, let me show you what I wrote. I'm not really happy with it, so uh, so maybe you can, I don't know, give me, give me ideas. I'll, I'll explain why in a minute, but here, let me write it for you. So it's called Crime and Punishment. It goes like this. But can I do it? There's this woman that I've seen. She's filthy, evil, and obscene. Fear, fake smiles, makeup, and lying eyes conceal from prying eyes the brutality she hides. Unseen. Maybe redundant, I don't know. But I know the truth. She beats her own little angel of a daughter, a girl so innocent, Jesus has nothing on her. Until she bleeds and screams, Mom, why don't you love me? And that's when this woman's happy. When she's mad, she has no pity. She's an incarnate misery. At night, I can hear her daughter crying, groans and moans through the apartment wall, echo undying, to sleep I can't fall. I swear that woman will kill her child one day. She's worse than garbage. She's savage. She's not worth her daughter's spit. How can God exist with something as awful as this? Torture and pain is all this woman knows how to give. She doesn't deserve to live. Were God to return right now in all his divinity, pardon man for all his treachery and offer paradise from now unto infinity, it wouldn't be worth this single child's misery. Why don't I kill this woman? It would be a mercy. No one benefits from her putrid existence, especially not her daughter, for instance. She's a blight on humanity. It makes me sick just thinking she shares the same air as me. And the trade-off is clear to see. One monster for a thousand improved lives. Can any rational person find fallacy? Yeah. Oh, oh and I also wrote this tiny bit here. This is a brainstorm I'm doing this whole thing. So, yeah. This, and I, I wrote a tiny bit here. It says, There is no God, and I have no friends. I made myself unshod of them. Like frauds, they want me for their own ends. But they can go to hell. I know men well, and I'm better than them. Now, what, what I don't really like about this is that I'm... I guess I'm focusing too much on the nature of the person he wants to kill and also on his justifications for it. I really, I feel like I really want to start, uh, describe the, the intense neuroses, like that, ex I want to embody, I want to express an intense neuroses, ne neuroses, is that right? Anyway, <laughs> anyway the neuroses of, of, uh, you know that that thought process when you're when all those thoughts are stuck in your head and and you and you can't stop yourself like you you've convinced yourself somehow and even though you know it's kind of you know it's wrong like and you can't stop yourself and you do it and then your life goes to hell really and so I want to express the the passion in that like the the, the torture in the brain so anyway that's what I wrote and it doesn't I don't know it, it feels like. I'm making. I'm I'm focusing on 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 the wrong thing, 
And also, it's like, I don't know, it's almost illogical, like, because he's hearing her, her daughter's moans through the apartment wall. What, are they alone in the apartment? Is there no one else hearing this? It's not credible. Like, this sh it should be less intense, I feel, this woman's uh, crimes, you know. Like, he's the only one who knows. It's kind of weird to me. Um, and I should be focusing more on... I want to focus more on... on uh, I guess, at his own insane... Uh, thought process. What he's caught. You know, what's, what's going on in his head. So, yeah. Anyway, well... So, give me your opinion on that. What do you think? What do you think I should do? Do you have any, any ideas? Uh, I'm, I guess I'll update you on you guys and progress I've made on this. Uh, if I think of anything better, I'll show it to you. Maybe you can tell me if you think it's better, too. Yeah, okay. That's, so, that, that wraps up this video. Peace out. You know, share, subscribe, and comment. Tell me what you think. Uh, you know, support my channel, please. <laughs> Uh, if you want to support me, you can get me a chair. That would be nice. Uh, all right. Second video down. Let's see if I can, if I can do this better in the future. Wish me luck.